Hello, this is James from xrobots.co.uk. This is part three of Android 12. So I've got Android 12's feet here. Um, since the last video, I've assembled some more pieces. I've put the shock absorbers on, and I've also basically put um, a servo and a gyro in the back of one of them. The other one I haven't, so we can have a quick look at the mechanism. So I should point out this piece is looser than it should be because I still don't have the M3 studding that should fit in there. So I've got a 2mm piece instead, uh, which makes these slightly looser at the bottom. Uh, basically, in the last video, I showed you this hinge. And you can probably see that's got a spring that attaches it to the servo. And I made these custom plastic servo pieces to uh, make a right angle on the servo horn. So that spring goes straight through to the other side um, and that allows basically the foot to tip in this direction because these don't stretch any longer. To tip in the other direction they have to compress. On the back we can see we've got um, effectively what will be the Achilles tendon which is a kind of firm spring that's also attached to the servo. So um, the intention is that I've not got any fixed or rigid rods attached to the servo to any piece of this. Um, I've got Android 11 just over here, which I've now stripped some pieces off, but I managed to break the servos in that. I managed to strip the gears by dropping it on its feet. Whereas with this version, I can do what I like and um, it never back drives the servo. I should point out the servos I'm using in this version um, are much stronger, they've got metal gears. In Android 11 I used some um, servos I got off eBay from China which were around £2.30 in English money each. These ones are £15 each and they're also capable of 15 kilograms of torque at uh, one centimetre which means one centimetre radius from the rotation point um, the stool torque is um, basically lifting a weight of 15 kilograms, which is quite a lot. The others are about 3 kilograms. Um, but I still want to be really careful, which is why I've built the leg this way. So no matter how much you smash it into the ground, you can't break the servo. Well, that's the theory anyway. So basically what's going to happen is that uh, to take a step forward, all it needs to do is tighten up the Achilles, which works quite well, as you can see. And then when the other foot is taking its step forward, and this is the uh, trailing foot, the weight of the android uh, will compress these springs and then the Achilles can tighten again so that it can kick forward and roll onto the ball of its foot. So basically the aim is, although it may not turn out that way, is to have the ankles as independent from the rest of the android as possible, a bit like a modern prosthetic leg. So the way I'm going to approach that, if I show you the other one, which has a gyro installed. So I have um, a radio control helicopter heading gyro, which is basically, it's just wired in line with the servo. Um, and that will basically offset the servo quite quickly, depending on the motion of the leg. So the aim is to make it automatically kick forward when the uh, leg reaches forward and automatically kick back based on the forward motion of the leg and I can actually demonstrate that. So the electronics that I've got just here are basically a Palulu Mini Maestro servo controller. I've got a Pickaxe 18X or similar development board and I've got the infrared module as well and the infrared remote just to turn basically to turn it on and activate different routines. I've got the power supply and the battery taken from Android 11, which is a 12 volt battery and a 10 amp 5 volt regulator, which is actually going to provide power to all the servos, and a small uh, 9 volt battery, which is powering the electronics. So at the moment, I've got a program which just feeds a fixed position to the servo, so it sends serial data to the servo controller and tells the servo to go to a fixed position. And then with the remote I can activate another program which changes the sensitivity of the gyro. So these gyros have an extra cable, you notice I've got two channels of the servo controller. That one is power, that is the servo and that is the gyro sensitivity which you can set with another servo channel. So if I set the sensitivity just by basically hitting the remote and it um, makes the pickaxe send some more serial data to the servo controller, 
then we can turn up the, the sensitivity of the gyro at the moment it's set to the least sensitive so if I do that and then wave this in the air you should be able to see it automatically kicking forward as you can see the and that's basically just based on its motion so obviously and so taking a step forward with the leading foot that's fine and then when it's the trailing foot so if I compress these let's put this so we can see the Achilles there if I compress these springs you can see the Achilles decompressing so that it can move forward and then automatically tightening again so it should kick forward which is what we want so it rolls onto the ball of its foot so um, how will that work in practice with um, the whole Android on top remains to be seen but that's the theory anyway obviously I can still feed a servo signal to the servo to offset it so if it doesn't move enough um, then I can make the the motion greater I can also turn up the sensitivity that's still only just turned up so it works it goes a lot more sensitive than that so there's a lot of parameters we can tweak when the Android's in motion as well as manually controlling the servo and still having the gyro compensate and that's basically how Android 11 worked um, with five gyros on five servos to balance left left to right and this one will do it to the left and the right and to the front and the back on each joint as well and hopefully with the combination of that it should stand up stably and um, always remain upright and balanced as it walks so a few people have asked me how tall Android 12 is going to be um, these things usually turn out taller than I expect them to be um, but I've got the uh, basically the pieces of Android 12 next to the remaining mechanical chassis of Android 11 as I mentioned most of the electronics have been stripped off now so Android 11 is, so that's 26 inches, uh, 66 centimetres. So with its head on, it was going to be around so 34 inches, which is about 80, 86 centimetres. So the aim of Android 11 was it was half human height. So its knee is at this level. Um, but as you can see, Android 12 is already going to be quite a bit taller. So the knee is going to be roughly this level. And these rods need trimming down a bit to match so the waist I guess is here so we're probably talking about yes yeah, waist height being around 60 centimeters two feet so I guess it's going to come out probably somewhere 1 meter 10 1 meter 20 so just under what's that well just under four feet 46 inches probably something like that um, so the aim is that these pieces are adjustable um, on these rods so basically um, the, the pieces can be moved up and down so it can be made taller or shorter depending on how well it works um, and obviously its height and mass are going to affect the way that the dynamics of the whole thing work so I still have a couple of things to do I still haven't done anything about the toes I have stuck a piece of foam underneath there so they don't flip back completely in the opposite direction but I've still got the mounting points where I need to put um, some sort of module it might be another active module with a servo or it might just be an adjustable spring piece um, or they might just remain passive ultimately they really should have springs to, to help stand upright rather than being there otherwise there's no point in having toes at all um, and the next piece is to carry on and build the knee so watch out for the next update, have a look at the website xrobots.co.uk slash android12 and there are pictures of all the parts um, eventually I'm going to also publish all of the CAD files so you can print your own at home